All right, guys, welcome back. So for today, what I'm going to be doing today is tracking down a fuel leak. I noticed that every time I fill the car up, um, like fully fill it up, there's the strong smell of gasoline. So, you know, this is a dangerous condition. It's something where gasoline um, open and uncontained, it could, it's bad to inhale. Um, it could cause a fire and it's a waste, frankly. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is walk through how I'm gonna track down this fuel leak and find where the smell is coming from. Right now, I'm in a closed garage. So first things first is opening things up because you want the area to be properly ventilated. With the open area, now we start walking through the areas that the fuel leak could be. Now, in terms of the, the fuel system, there are only a certain few places it'll go around. So what, what I like to do is to walk through the entire system and find areas where it could be. So starting with the actual uh, fuel cap itself, here, I don't notice any leaks. Sometimes it'll be very apparent of what's going on. Um, you'll be able to see it. But what I will tell you is I'm not smelling any fumes coming from this area here. Next up, after you put the fuel in, it travels down, right? There are hoses behind here um, that you'll check. Now, when you're checking them, you're looking for cracks, tears, that type of thing. I'll come back to this if I don't find the, the leak elsewhere, but underneath this panel is where you'll find hoses. The fuel travels down and goes into the gas tank. Next up is back here. For context, this is what the fuel tank looks like, where you'll find the fuel pump on the left and the fuel sender unit on the right side. Now, I've already removed one of these, right? But um, just to give you a sense of, of what's what, underneath the rear seat, what you do is you just lift it up. Underneath the rear seat, the fuel tank is underneath this stretch, essentially the rear seat. On the left side, you'll find the fuel pump on the passenger side and on the, the driver side, that is the fuel sender unit. I'll open that up um, and get to it, but I still wanna walk um, you through what to expect when looking for a leak. I will say though, in here, the fuel smell is very strong. So very well could be the sender unit, but let's continue walking through. Picking back up from the passenger side, this is where the sender unit would be. Now moving to the underside of the car. A big one here is the, the fuel tank itself. Now looking from the driver's side, this is the fuel tank. You'll see this um, strap like, or this metal bracket here holding the fuel tank. Look around the fuel tank to see if you see any cracks, any leaks, things of that sort. Then we'll move to the fuel lines themselves. This is where you'll find your fuel lines. This is on the driver's side. And here, you notice up here, these are your fuel lines. They travel down. And this, again, this is an area you're, you're gonna be looking for leaks, um, any wet spots. Um, I'm seeing something here, but uh, that, that's, that's unrelated in this instance. These are your fuel lines and your fuel lines travel down and they go a fuel filter. So the cylindrical thing is the fuel filter. Again, another area you wanna smell. If you smell any fumes, you see any leaks and so forth. That's a common area. And in general, it's a good thing to change out. Next up, it comes um, up here. Now, another big area you'll want to look for leaks are around the injectors. Along here, these are the fuel injectors. You'll see there are four of them. This is a common area. You'll wanna look for leaks. See if you see anything wet or damp. Not talking about the, uh, the valve cover, but um, what will fail around fuel injectors are the O-rings. 
I'm looking at all four of mine here and I'm not seeing any leaking. In addition, there are fuel lines here. You wanna see if you see any cracks, see anything wet, and I'm not seeing it. Now in my case, like I said, the area where I'm sp smelling fume the strongest is in the cabin itself. Now I've already looked underneath um, this one. I wanted to check the fuel pump first and I'm not seeing any issues there. But now moving to the fuel center unit, I've already taken out the screws and let's see what we've got. Okay, this thing is soaking. This thing is soaking. As you can see, you can see it glistening a bit, um, but it's, it's, it's filling it up. I'm not sure how much you can tell, but from where the fuel center unit is up until this part, it's basically filled up altogether. What I will have to find out though, is if it's this hose itself, um, I'll check it to see, and it, it could be, or if it's the unit itself, there is essentially like a, a ring, a rubber ring that goes around it. That could be an issue. So I'm going to inspect that, check into parts and see what I could find out. But that's one quick way to find a fuel leak. Till next time, guys, drive safely.